All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I did for this problem is, again, I broke up sine of 165. I broke it up into the sine of 210 degrees minus, um, minus 45 degrees. So what we did is we looked at the unit circle, and we know that um, 210 degrees, the coordinate point for 210 degrees, is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. Right? That's the coordinate point on the unit circle for 210 degrees. Correct? Mm -hmm. Then the next thing we looked at is the coordinate point for 45 degrees. Now, if TJ has this written down, he would know that that would be square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Notice I am finding the coordinate point for 45 degrees, not negative 45 degrees. All right? I understand it's the difference, but remember, it's the difference of two positive angles. So now to evaluate, if we want to find what we're simply going to do is this means the sine of u. So what we can do is you can label these, u and v, all right? Because that's what you're doing. You're subtracting two angles, the u and the v. So really what you're doing is the sine of 210 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees minus the cosine of 210 degrees times the sine of 45 degrees. All right, so you can label your two angles, u and v, and then simply plug them into the formula. Now, when we go and do this, the sine of 210 degrees is the y coordinate, which is negative 1 half. The cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Again, we're multiplying those. Minus the cosine of 210 degrees is going to be a negative square root of 3 over 2. You might want to put those in parentheses to notice that you're subtracting a negative square root of 3 over 2 times the sine of 45 degrees, which is square root of 2 over 2. I can multiply these across, which is negative square root of 2 over 4. And then I can multiply these. Well, minus a negative now becomes a positive square root of 6 over 4. I can combine these into the negative square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 divided by 4. Oh, <laughs> and I forgot. There's actually one more way we could actually um, simplify these answers. But, huh? Divide the whole answer by 2, right? Well, well, you can not divide the whole answer by 2, but what we can do is you can simplify. You, these have common factors, right? What you can do is factor out a square root of 2. That's going to leave you with a negative 1 plus the square root of 3. Factor out a square root of 2 over 2. Um, no, over. Yeah. There you go. So that would actually be, yes? Yes, we're actually going to go with that answer. I didn't go over it with the first problem. So you're going to have to fact to simplify that out as you can. Yeah. Yes.